I am Kid Sister, K-I-D-S-I-S-T-E-R. I just signed last year to Downtown Records, and I've been working on my album since then. So, got a year under my belt, and we're wrapping it up. We had the album done, and we mixed it, and we mastered it, and then I decided it wasn't right, so I had to take it back and work on it again. I'm a little obsessive. I've been at Make it knock when you party in. Take a break right in the audience. Do you put work break and start again? Alain was playing music for Kanye because there was a whole debacle after the uh, European VMAs. Justice won best video. Kanye didn't, he had never heard of Justice. So Alain, after that, was like, hey, these are my friends, you know, check out their, uh, check out their music. So he played him my stuff. And he was like, wow, this stuff is so cool. You know, he was just really, I think it opened his eyes to a whole new genre and, and movement. My point of view is basically, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I think that not a lot of people are honest to music anymore. Everyone's manufactured, it's kind of boring. And for me, it's just, I want to be the one normal girl who actually makes it, you know? And make it and, and not be the, you know, Thackerin candy coated confection. I'm, I'm real, you know what I mean? I used to work at the mall. Yo, holler. You know, I, I didn't get signed as like some pretty face. I got signed as someone who had a string of singles and, you know, a little bit of drive. I, we've been talking about this all day. Everyone's like, wow, you have a whole day of press. Such hard work. It's like, oh yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> I have like this cute little hairdo, this stupid dress. This is great. This is so fun. So I can't complain. This is not work. Oh no, let's talk about Vegas first because that's just awkward. We went there and it was the first out of town show I'd ever done. It was for Vice magazine. So I was like at this place called the Double Down Saloon in Vegas and it was, oh my God, there's all these crazy guys and they were all bikers and they're scary, but I didn't even give a shit. I was like, I'm here to play my show. Where's the green room? They're like, ain't no green room in this place. I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna do what I do. It was my first out of town show. I really had something to prove, right? So I got the bike and I was like, let me bang. Let me bang. And I got down on the floor and I started like grinding and I had these little shorts on. Fucked up because there was broken glass, broken glass everywhere. <laughs> I was not good. So yeah, I got back up and I was, I was kind of wasted. So I was like kind of bleeding on my legs. <laughs> it's just not good. But then Florida, we played. Okay, when you have a single, a single that's doing well, they put you on a radio tour. The label will. And you visit all these different radio stations up and down the eastern seaboard. You just get in the car and you go. And you play some shows for radio stations. So we went to this one radio station in Fort Myers, Florida. So we got out of the car. We're like, where's the venue? Because we were in a super Kmart parking lot. Where's the venue, y'all? <laughs> they were like, we, we're here. <laughs> I was like, shut up. You could be one years old and go to that show. But you could not be 19. They wouldn't let you in. We saw all these pregnant teenagers wearing booty shorts. Oh, God, Lord. Nothing against Fort Myers. Y'all were lovely. But how you gonna be pregnant and wear that crazy craziness? You'd be ashamed of yourself, <laughs> test, test. We got up there. These kids had never heard of me. They had never heard of my music. It was like pretty early on. And they looked at us when like Marty McFly went up on the stage in fucking Back to the Future. And he starts like wailing on the guitar and all the kids are like, that's how it was. And my friend Kurt, who's our DJ, he was like, your kids are gonna love this. 